Colorectal cancer is the second leading cause of cancer deaths, but the good news is this disease is highly preventable with screening. Dr. Cedric McFadden is here to encourage screening, and he's joined by cancer patient Karen Woomer. Good morning to the two of you. Good morning. Good morning. So you're both on this really passionate uh, campaign to get people to to take this seriously. And, and Dr. Cedric, I'll ask you first, how do we do that? How do you get people to uh, kind of pick up the mantra that this is a life-saving screening? Well, I think by doing just what we're doing this morning, uh, having conversations with patients and with doctors and with people who've experienced the process, what it's like to be diagnosed and then go through and then survive and come out on the other end that can lend support to people who are currently facing it. And that's one of the, the benefits of working with the Colorectal Cancer Alliance and creating these partnerships and relationships so we can get people screened. That's the goal here, right? We are wanting to make sure that people know that when they're at the age of 45 or sooner, depending on their risk factors, they need to be screened for colorectal cancer. Thank you. Karen, tell us a bit of your story and why you're uh, so passionate about this. Yes, when I was the recommended age for screening, my primary care physician encouraged me to get a colonoscopy. I have no family history of colon cancer and I had no symptoms. And so I actually delayed my colonoscopy about a year. So needless to say, I was shocked when the colonoscopy found polyps that were cancerous. And so once I got over that initial, you have colon cancer diagnosis, I decided to make my story very public. And through the use of social media platforms, I shared my story. I shared what kind of treatments I was about to go through. But I also encouraged everyone I knew, because so many people um, within my social media platforms are similar age, I encouraged everyone I knew to get screened. And so I'm really proud to say that almost 100 people got screened during my treatments because of my story. That is very impressive and life-saving. Well, Dr. McFadden, help us understand uh, maybe some symptoms we need to be looking for. Do, it, does, is it even, does it present symptoms early on? It may not produce symptoms early on. I mean, if you have a small polyp that's becoming a tumor, that's becoming a cancer, early on, it may not produce any symptoms during that time period. So that's why we don't want people to wait until they have symptoms to be checked. We want them to be screened at the appropriate age. But when they do develop symptoms, they may have bleeding, they may have abdominal discomfort, unexplained weight loss or changes in their bowel habits. They may feel really weak or fatigued. And those are the things that will get you to come see me to have this testing done for colon screening or colon testing. But if you don't have symptoms, you could still have cancer. And so that's why it's important at the age of 45 that you be screened or sooner if you're high risk. Going to getscreen.org is a valuable resource to help you navigate when is the right time for you? When should I be tested? And what is the right test for me at that time? Thank you so much for guiding us in, in, in this. And it is so important. I read a report just before I came in here about more young people now are exhibiting uh, colorectal cancer. And is that alarming to you now, Dr. McFadden? It is alarming because historically we've thought of colorectal cancer as a disease of older people. And if you think of you're in the prime of your life, uh, where there have been many notable cases over the past few years uh, having younger patients with colorectal cancer, uh, it can be quite de devastating. And so we're putting the word out to get those screenings. And regardless of your age, if you have symptoms, you need to be tested. Dr. McFadden and Karen, thank you both so much for sharing your story and for inspiring us all. Thank you. Thank you for having us. And more lifestyles for you right after this.